Secondly, it provides an environment for animals and plants that live in water, so all living organisms owe their life to water. <clears throat> we use water in daily life for drinking, cooking and washing purposes. Quality of drinking water has remained a major factor in determining human health and welfare since ages. Since World War II, there has been a rapid production and use of synthetic chemicals. Many of these chemicals, fertilizers and pesticides run off from agriculture lands and industrial discharge from industrial units. <clears throat> have polluted water supplies. Besides this, there is an also a threat of uh, groundwater from waste, chemical dumps, and landfills. Currently, waterborne toxic chemicals pose the greatest threat, threat to supplies of water, especially in urban areas. Use of this water is causing waterborne diseases, so use of polluted water is a, is a concern of every citizen. Therefore, understanding the sources of and effects of water pollution is essential for controlling this alarming threat. Occurrence of water. The oceans contain 97% of world's water. The rest of water is in the form of glaciers, ice caps, groundwater, in, and in land water, rivers, lakes, streams. It is also present in atmosphere in the form of water vapors. Sea water is unfit for drinking and agricultural purposes due to high percentage of dissolved salts. Only 0.2% of the water, total water on earth is potable fit for drinking purposes. Properties of water. Water is composed of two elements, oxygen and hydrogen. One atom of oxygen combines with two atoms of hydrogen to form molecules of water. Pure water is a clear, a colorless, odorless and tasteless liquid with the following properties. It is neutral to litmus. Its freezing point is 0 degree centigrade and boiling point is 100 degree centigrade at sea level. Its maximum density is 1 gram centimeter cube at 4 degree centigrade. It is excellent solvent for ionic as well as molecular compounds. It has an unusually high heat capacity about 4.2 joule per kilogram per kelvin which is about 6 times greater than that of rocks. It does this specificity property specific property of water is responsible for keeping the earth's temperature within limits otherwise daytime temperature would have been too high to bear and nighttime temperature would have been too low to freeze everything it has a high surface tension this unique property of water is responsible for its high capillary action capillary action is the process by which water rises up from the roots of plants to leaves this process is vital for the survival of the land plants Water as solvent. Water is the universal solvent because it can dissolve almost all the minerals. Its ability to dissolve substances is because of two unique properties of water. Polarity of water molecule, exceptional hydrogen bonding ability. Polar nature of water. Water molecule has polar structure. One end of the molecule is partially positive while the other end is partially negative because of electronegativity difference between oxygen and hydrogen atoms. All other polar substances are soluble in water because the positive end of the substances is attracted by the negative end of water and negative end of the substances is attracted by a positive end of the water. The electrostatic attractions among the ions are overcome by the ion dipole dipole forces of attraction between ion and water molecules. In this way, positive and negative ions of the compounds are polluted. Ultimately, these oppositely charged ions are surrounded by water molecules, thus separated and kept in solution. For example, most of the salts like NaCl, KCl and Na2SO4 etc. are soluble in water. On the other hand, many covalent substances like benzene, ether, octane, etc., which do not have polar ends or uh, bonds, uh, are not attracted by water molecules. Therefore, non polar compounds do not solve in water. Extensive hydrogen bonding ability Water molecule is composed of oxygen and hydrogen atom because of two OH bonds and two lone pairs of one H2O molecule can form hydrogen bonding with four other H2O molecules, which are arranged in a tetrahedrally around the H2O molecule. This unique behavior of water enables it to dissolve many polar non-ionic compounds having hydroxyl group OH minus OH like alcohols, organic acids, glucose, sugar, etc. by forming hydrogen bonds with them. Soft and hard water. Soft water. Soft water is that water which produces good lather with soap. Hard water is that water which does not produce lather with soap. Causes of hardness in water, the rain water while coming down absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The water mixed with carbon dioxide while then passes through the beds of the soil converts insoluble carbonates of calcium and magnesium into soluble bicarbonates. It may also dissolve chloride and sulfates of calcium and magnesium. Thus, rain water dissolves many salts of divalent cations like Mg2 positive, Ca2 positive and ions like Cl negative, SO2 negative 4, HCO3 negative and CO32 negative. For example, gypsum, Ca, SO4 or, or 2 H2O and uh, limestone, CaCO3, these salts make the water hard. Gypsum is uh, 
sparingly soluble in water while limestone is insoluble in water however in the presence of carbon dioxide small quantity of limestone is soluble in water according to the above chemical reaction types of hardness of water hardness is of two types temporary hardness is because of presence of uh, bicarb presence of bicarbonates um, uh, uh, permanent hardness is because of presence of sulfates and chlorides of calcium and magnesium methods of removing hardness the removal of um, mg2 positive and ca2 positive ions which are responsible for the hardness is called uh, water softening and removal of temporary hardness by boiling temporary hardness is uh, temporary hardness of uh, water is easily removed by boiling the water on boiling calcium bicarbonate cahco3 to decomposes to produce insoluble calcium carbonate which um, precipitates out the solution clark clark's method a chemical equation to remove temporary hardness is the is by the addition of slaked lime caoh2 a calculated amount of lime water is added to temporary hard water thus once the magnesium and calcium ions precipitate precipitate out water becomes soft removal of permanent hardness permanent hardness can only be removed by using chemicals calcium ca2 positive and magnesium mg2 positive are removed as insoluble salts by adding washing soda as na2co3 or sodium zeolite by using washing soda the addition of washing soda removes the calcium and magnesium ions as the insoluble calcium and magnesium carbonates respectively using sodium zeolite an ion exchanger sodium zeolite is a naturally occurring design of sodium aluminum aluminum silicate NaAlSiO32 which can also be prepared artificially it is used for softening of water at domestic as well as in industrial scale when water is passed through oh, resin sodium ions of the resin are exchanged with the unwanted calcium and magnesium ions of the hard water the, uh, when resin is fully used up it can be regenerated by flushing it with concentrated solution of NaCl the reverse process takes place because of high concentration of sodium ions disadvantages disadvantages of hard water the hard water consumes large amount of soap in washing purposes drinking hard water causes stomach disorders hard water is unfit for use in steam engines boilers and turbines because insoluble calcium and magnesium salts deposit inside they are called scales they are bad conductors of heat and hence more fuel is used insoluble calcium and magnesium sulfate does not only reduce the efficiency of the engine but it also causes the boiler or to burst water pollution water pollution is the contamination of water bodies for example lakes rivers oceans and groundwater water pollution occurs when pollutants are discharged directly or indirectly into water bodies without adequate treatment to removal remove harmful compounds water pollution due to different effluents is given industrial effluents industrial units are installed to produce the desired substances chemicals cloth leather good papers plastic items petrochemicals and rubber items on commercial scale to meet the needs of society but on Unfortunately, all the industrial units discharge their waste, chemicals, and solid materials either to open ground or to water. This is called industrial effluent. The industrial effluent may be highly toxic organic chemicals, inorganic salts, heavy metals, mineral acids, oil and greases, etc. On the other hand, water uses as cleaning agent in industries is directly discharged out. This water contains all kinds of toxic chemicals and detergents. When these effluents are used, water enters lakes, streams, rivers, or oceans. They either get dissolved or float suspended in water. Even they get put the deposited on the bed this results in the pollution of water they um, deteriorate the quality of water they reduce the quantity of dissolved oxygen which ultimately affects aquatic life in a ecosystem they can also seep down they can also seep down and uh, and affect the ground water deposits they uh, can, can contaminate the water deposits when this water is used by human beings it causes severe disease like cancer and gastro this polluted water damages soil crops plants and animals Heavy metals like cadmium, lead, and mercury are toxic and health hazards for human beings. Acute cadmium poisoning causes high blood pressure, kidney damage, and destruction of red blood cells. Acute lead poisoning causes um, die function of kidneys, liver, brain, central nervous system, and reproductive system. Mercury poisoning causes neurological damage. Um, domestic effluents uses of detergents is increasing day by day for cleaning purposes in house and industries um, uh, because it it is because detergents have strong cleaning action or uh, then that. Of soap, even in hard water, they, they can work even in acidic solution, but they have a major disadvantage over the soaps as some of the detergents are non biodegradable and cannot be decomposed by microorganisms.
microorganisms like bacteria when household water containing these detergents is discharged in streams, ponds, lakes and rivers it causes water pollution that detergent remains in water for a long lifetime uh, and makes the water unfit for aquatic life. The phosphate starch present in detergents causes rapid growth of algae in water bodies which floats over the surface of water. These plants ultimately die and decay. Decaying plants being biodegradable consume oxygen gas present in water. Thus, uh, depletion of oxygen gas results in the death of aquatic life. Domestic sewage contains a, wi- a wide variety of dissolved and suspended impurities. They include food and vegetable waste, garbages, cans, bottles, chemical soaps, washing powder, etc. It also contains disease causing microbes. All these substances add to water pollution. Agricultural influence. Water pollution due to agricultural waste is be- because of use of fertilizers and pesticides. Fertilizers are used to make up the deficiency of nitrogen, phosphorus, etc. of the soil because of uh, intensive cultivation of crops in the recent years. On the other hand, pesticides are used either directly to kill or control the growth of pests. Pests may be weeds, herbs, insects, fungi, viruses, etc. They all damage crops and transmit diseases both to human beings and plants. Agricultural effluents have dual effects. Intensive cultivation of crops causes these chemicals from fertilizers and pesticides to seep into the groundwater commonly called leaching process. The high, high nitrate contents in groundwater is mainly because of irrigation runoff from agricultural fields. The runoff from the agricultural land where fertilizer and pesticides have been used enters into pond streams or rivers. This water contains nitrate and phosphate. Sars, these substances result in a rapid growth of algae floating over the surface of water. They prevent the sunlight and air to reach up to aquatic life. When algae dies, bacteria consume oxygen of the water for decomposition of algae. As a result, oxygen depletes in the water. Aquatic animals feel suffocation and ultimately die due to insufficient supply of oxygen. In some parts of the world, the water supply contains small amounts of chlorine compounds. It was found that in these areas, um, as, uh, it was found in people did not suffer much from tooth decay. This is because compounds of fluorine protect teeth from decay. That, that is why m- many toothpaste contains fluorine compounds. Um, effects of uh, water pollution um, Water pollution has the following effect. It has a hazardous to human health. Drinking polluted water can cause cholera, typhoid, and diarrhea. The use of polluted water is not only devastating for people but also for you, animals and birds. It causes rapid growth of algae death and decomposition of algae causes deficiency of oxygen in water that affects organisms living in water. It is damaging aquatic life thus breaking a link in food chain. It reduces the aesthetic quality of lakes and rivers. It is unfit for cleaning or washing purposes. Water bo- waterborne infectious diseases, diseases that spread because of drinking polluted water or eating food prepared with polluted water are called waterborne infectious diseases. Water pollution may be due to toxins or microorganisms. Toxins are arsenic, mercury, cadmium, leads, and many organic chemicals. Microorganisms are viruses, bacteria, protozoa, and worms. Lack of proper sanitation facilities is the main cause of rapidly spreading water wound diseases. A few common diseases are mentioned. And diarrheal diseases, intestinal diseases such as cholera that may cause dangerous dehydration. Diarrhea may be, may be caused by viruses, bacteria, or parasites. Dysentery, dysentery is an intestinal disease which is typically caused by certain bacteria or parasites. It is characterized by severe um, diarrhea that may be accompanied by blood or mucus. Cholera. Cholera is an um, acute infection caused by the bacteria Vibrius cholerae which may be found in water and contaminated by human feces. Cholera causes severe diarrhea and can be fatal. Um, um, Cryptosporidium, water, water boon microorganism can, that causes gastrointestinal illness, including diarrhea and vomiting. These tiny pathogens are found in surface water sources like reservoirs, lakes, and rivers. Fluorosis, fluorosis is a disease caused by the consumption of excess fluoride. Fluorosis can cause boons and teeth damage. Hepatitis, it is liver inflammation commonly caused by one of five viruses called hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E. Hepatitis A and E can be transmitted by contaminated water. Hookworm is a parasitic worm that infects the small intestine. Several causes can result in anemia and stunted growth in children. Hookworm larvae enter the body through the skin, often via the feed spread by poor sanitary conditions. Hookworms infect um, about 1 billion people worldwide per annum. Jaundice um, is caused by excess of bile pigments in the blood. Liver ceases to function and eye turns yellow. Patient feels weak and um, fatigue. Typhoid, a dangerous bacterial disease often spread by contaminated water or by food prepared with contaminated water.
Prevention of waterborne diseases. Uh, waterborne diseases can be prevented by taking um, following measures. Pro provision of safe water. Drinking water must be properly treated and purified. Uh, the disposable of sewage. There must be adequate uh, sanitary disposable of sewage. Any type of waste must not be thrown or discharged directly in water supplies or reservoirs.